Hi folks, Bryony Thomas here from Watertight Marketing. Um, I thought I'd jump on each day this week and I'll keep it reasonably short. Um, and I've really hesitated to do this because I've seen a lot of bandwagon jumping and lots of noise at the moment. Um, and I was thinking, have I got something genuine to add? Have I got something to say to you at this really, really difficult time? I know so many businesses will be looking at the months ahead and really thinking, how do I survive, um, let alone thrive? And I've thought of the themes of what I want to say through this week. And today's theme of what I want to say is, is breathe. Because what I'm seeing a lot of business owners doing at the moment is jumping into product creation. Now, I know a lot of that will be based on um, kind of desperation. You know, there's n no cash flow coming in. I have to create something, sense of urgency and necess necessity is the mother of creation, they say. And so some people may very well be coming up with some, some brilliant product ideas. But if you're sitting there and nothing's coming to you, it's okay. It is okay. And taking some time to breathe and reflect is a perfectly reasonable response. If you're not sitting there taking everything online, if you're not sitting there creating courses, um, kind of selling as you've always sold, um, then that's okay. That's a reasonable and logical response. What people are going to be going through, like the rug's been just been pulled from under them, a mourning for the, the 2020 that they had planned. And so what would I be doing? What am I doing now? What would I be doing now? Now, I'm in a slightly different situation, which is I had the rug pulled from under me in December. I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and had to cancel my year in order to have my cancer treatment. And so I'm a couple of months ahead of you all in terms of having the rug pulled from under my business um, and having, you know, m m the majority of my income is, is event based. And so not being able to appear on stage has meant, you know, since January, we've had barely any income coming in. And so I'm a little bit ahead of you on having had the rug pulled from under my business. And now, what should you be doing? Well, breathing. Now, I know you're all going to be sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, where's the money coming from? And so doing a cash flow forecast, getting a handle on those costs is absolutely right. But really, what should you be doing at the moment? You should be having a look at your own values and um, what is it that you are in business for and who do you serve? You should be taking some time to really understand what's going on with customers. And they're not even going to know at the moment. Um, you know, there's so much uncertainty that they may not even be able to tell you what they need and how they're feeling until things have settled for a while. And particularly in, until the, what's happening with the government um, kind of support is clearer. And so I would caution you against um, simply adding to the noise at the moment. So people are going to be so distracted. If you go quiet for a couple of weeks or a month, that's going to be fine. People are so in their own world and in their own minds at the moment that they're not going to miss you not jumping in and joining in. So it's, it's okay to take a couple of weeks, maybe even a couple of months, if your um, business can afford it, um, to think. Because panic doesn't create great products and panic doesn't create great promotions. And so rather than thinking, oh my goodness, I need to jump in, I need to say something, um, taking some time to think and reflect is perfectly reasonable. Now, in the um, videos that I'm gonna do for the rest of the week, tomorrow I'm gonna be talking about why now more than ever, it's important to turn your marketing upside down. So start with existing customers, then prospects, and only then reaching out to new people. I'm going to talk through the concept of turning um, your marketing upside down and, and kind of resisting the temptation to go chasing the new um, now more than ever. I'm then going to, on Wednesday, focus in on what you can do with existing customers at the moment. What What's the um, reasonable, respectful and um, the best thing for your long term to be doing with your existing customers at the moment. 
On Thursday, I'm going to talk you through the funnels and filters, things that help you convert. So what would I be doing? What, what could you be doing in the coming months to have a think about higher conversion rates um, during this survival mode? And then when we come out of that in order to thrive. And then on Friday, I'm going to talk about TAPS, generating awareness and reach during this time and also um, when the economy picks up. And so my theme for today is breathe. Um, don't feel you need to jump in and join in on the noise. There's so much for people to take in at the moment that they're not going to miss you being quiet. They're not going to think, gosh, where are they? Um, providing you're staying in touch with your existing customers about what's going on immediately, that's fine. You don't need to be creating new products, switching everything online right now this very second because you might make some very poor decisions in panic. My theme for tomorrow is turning marketing upside down. My theme for Wednesday is your business bucket, so keeping the customers you already have. My theme for Thursday is funnels and filters, so converting people that you're having conversations with. And my theme for Friday is reaching new people, which is the last thing um, on your list, as we'll talk about tomorrow. So marketing for survival is really about um, going back to the basics, being true to who you are, knowing why you do what you do and who you do it for. And so what should you be doing at the moment? Well, first of all, you should be focusing on your health, focusing on your family, focusing on your mental well-being, getting your cash flow clear so you know where you stand. And then and only then taking some time to think about your business in terms of your values and who it is you serve and why. That's what you know. I believe businesses should be doing at the moment. What I think you shouldn't be doing is making noise for the sake of it, jumping on the bandwagon, being an expert in things you're not really an expert in, um, creating kind of um, slightly ropey products and sticking them online for a tenner. Um, these are desperate, this, this is desperation. And I know these are desperate times, but actually taking a bit of time to think and reflect will mean that you come through this um, in a much stronger position. So much love from me. Um, we will come through this and on the other side of this there will be a thriving, there will be moving out from survival um, into thriving and if you take the time in the coming months to create really solid marketing foundations not only will you survive but you will thrive on the other side. So I'll jump on here um, each day, as I say, and go through those themes. Tomorrow's theme is about turning marketing upside down. On Wednesday, I'll talk about your existing customers. On Thursday, I'll talk about converting those you're already in conversation with. And on Friday, I'll talk about reaching new customers. Big, massive virtual hug from me. So much love. Bye.